Oh, it's so good to be in the presence of the Lord. We know what happens with technology sometimes. I appreciate the kind introduction. And I want to recognize some persons before I go further. Um, Dr. Worrell, uh, Dr. Worrell Hibbert, he's the principal of STATS. I heard him pray the other day in a meeting that we were having, and I was so blessed, and it's so good to be here at his school today. And I greet you, man of God. Blessings unto you. I greet the presidents of Passion and Purity. Trust me, there is no one like Pastor um, Donnett and Andrew Norman. They are one of a kind, and it's so I'm always privileged to be in their presence, and I want to thank them again for this opportunity. All the other executive members, educators, students, friends that are joining us. I am, yeah, man, we say, what up, Jesus? I forget, big up. I am here to speak the word of the Lord this morning. I want them to turn on my PowerPoint because I cannot be contained, because I'm excited. I'm here to speak to young people about the eternal love of Jesus Christ. Our eternal Father has an eternal love for us. Father, we thank you that you have an eternal healing love that is manifested and that is shed abroad in our hearts even now. And so now, our oh Father, as we get into the word and as I speak to young people, I pray, Lord, that your presence will be here and that you will do and manifest your greatness. Lord, we give you thanks for who you are and what you are going to do. I want to big up the students. I want to big up the students. Hey, students, today is my birthday, you know. And yes, today is my birthday. I'm getting, I'm getting younger and younger. Yes, sending some happy birthday for me. Sending some happy birthday for me. But what the most exciting thing that I could be doing on my birthday than to be talking to young people. We are living in such an exciting time. And I am here to share the greatest message that ever was. And that is the Father's healing love. This love is straight out of heaven. This love is a love that is coming from the best place that you can imagine. Hear what um, First John says. Behold, what manner of love has the Father bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore, the world knoweth us not because it did not know him. I am here especially to speak to students because you should now recognize is that you are loved. The eternal Father has a healing love, not an ordinary love for you. What manner of love is this? This love is a love that cannot be described. It cannot be explained. You cannot find any language that can fully define or explain this love. This love is straight out of heaven, straight out of the Father's heart to you. Will you, will you encounter that love today? Our fathers, our eternal fathers, healing love. Let us go through and let us look at how can we describe this love. This love as we look at L. This love takes a long-term view. It takes a long-term view. How long is long? It says that this love comes to us and it is showing that the love that God has for us comes from a place even before there was creation. God wanted us to come back to him. He knew what would happen in the garden. And because he knew what would happen in the garden, he decided that I am going to do something. I am going to slay a lamb that will bring you back to me. Young boy, young girl, you are loved. You are loved before you were born. If no one wants to affirm and tell you that they love you, know that you are love. And this love is a long-term love. It's not a puppy love. It's not a little play play love. It's not a love that they tell you that they're going to swim in ocean and climb a tree in order. Those are short-term petty puppy love. This love is not a puppy love. This is a long-term love. Before you were born, before the earth was shaped, God loved you. Yes, you, Nicholas. Nicholas Williams, I'm so proud of you. You are so outstanding. I heard you say that you were once drinking, but God loved God to you. I was listening the advertisement the other day and I said, whoa, this advertisement is so professional. 
I wonder which radio personality they got to do this. And when I heard, I heard that it was Nicol Nicholas Williamson from straight out of stats because he encountered the long-term love of God and God brought this love to him. Let me tell you something else about this love. This love is O. And this love is now ostentatious. Yes, this is a love that is ostentatious. This means that this love is show off. This love is boasting on you. Students, I'm speaking to students. You are my target audience today. God wants to show you off. God wants to show your beauty. I don't care what people say about you. I don't care if they say you have ADHD, if you have Down syndrome, if you're blind, if people abused you in the past. God wants to show off on you. All of you know the story of the prodigal son as we look in that verse. And what the father did, even when the prodigal turned his back on him, when he came back to the father, the father put on ring on him and put on the best clothes. God want to show you off today in your high school. God want to show you off in your in your community. Come on, young people. May I tell you, if you're getting a God, you're getting at the right place. At that, you know, because let me tell you something. When me pray the thing deeply, there is the world only I got chew you up and spit you out and use you and then laugh at you and then satan will kill you and make you a disgrace this boy was in the pig pen remember he's a jew and he reached to the point that he might fight with the hog to get liquor food as a jew he might fight with the pig them to get something to eat and he was in a state but when he remembered about his father he thought that when he went to his father he was going to have to go and bow down and beg and beseech but even though he rang the father the father still had an eternal healing love and the father was looking out for him and when the father saw him coming the father ran out to meet him and dress him up and put him in a nice clothes and say yes my my son he hug him up and he kiss him this love that God has for you he wants to show you off in the earth and that's why you must keep yourself pure that's why you must keep yourself passionate that God can show you off God going bless you in rich ways because his love for you is ostentatious the other part of the love is that when you have this love as we move on when you have this love when we have this love it makes us valuable. We are living in a time where children are being abused. And sometimes when I sit and think of what is happening to our young people, the amount of abuse that is taking place, especially in the pandemic, they have reported, I saw the stats with the number of children that are sexually abused that are verbally abused, mentally abused, and neglected, especially since the pandemic. But when you encounter the love of God, you know that you have value. Young boy, you have value. Young girl, you have value. And because you value yourself, nobody can just come and touch, touch you up and want to come like your Linstead Market Aki, where everybody come feel up, feel up. No, 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 not me. I am valuable. I am special. How special are you? Peter says it. He said, for as much as you know you are redeemed, not redeemed, with corruptible things as silver and gold from your vain conversation, Received by the tradition from your father. But what were you redeemed with? The precious blood of Christ as a lamb without blemish and without spot. Boy, girl, I wish I could see you to call your name, but you are valuable. Don't let anybody come and use you. Don't let anybody come and try to abuse you because you're special. Beat yourself on your chest and say, I'm valuable. I'm valuable more than a car. I'm valuable more than million dollars. I'm valuable. So you're not going to come and touch me anyway. You're not going to come and talk to me anyway because I am a worthy i the, the one of the things that can happen to the human being is self-rejection self-rejection sometimes people tell you say you're too black and say you go buy ambi and get um cocoa butter and go buy corn meal and rub and face for try to make your brown because you are trying to look value 
But your value is far deeper than that. Your value is in the blood of Christ that he shed for you. You are valuable. If you don't get anything else out of what I said this morning, get that you are valuable. You are precious. That did not silver couldn't buy you. No gold, no platinum couldn't buy you. You're worth more than a Benz. You're worth more than a driving a car. You're worth more than buy a pretty shoes. You are worth more than that. You are valuable in the sight of God. So treat yourself as important. Walk with dignity in your classroom. Walk with dignity in your community and know that you are precious and you are valuable. And the final thing is the E. The E now we're getting back to the root of it is that this love is an eternal love. From where I said the love start, the love start before earth came in. The love of God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life the love started before you were born the love that god had for you he had it before the very earth was created in genesis chapter one and so the love is going back way in time before measurement and we could do anything with that love was there for you and how far will the love go the love will go into eternity that is beyond time so the love is a love times infinity times infinity because you can't trace where it started and you can't see where it end what a love that god have for you young boy young girl if you begin to understand this precious love you will get excited and raise your hands with me and begin to praise god because you will begin to see value in who you are and know that the healing love of god this love is reaching you if you were raped if you were abused if you have been neglected if you have been left on the wayside the eternal father's love for you is everlasting from everlasting to everlasting i close with this young people i was in high school running away from god and trying to live up life and from various experiences i had and I won't get into detail because of time. But what gripped me about life is not the fear of hell and death. What gripped me and what the message that got to my heart is that God loves me. When you begin to recognize that God really loves you and somebody loves you, because all human beings are on a quest for love. Everything that we do, we are on a quest for love. I say that you are loved by the eternal father. His love for you is reckless. His love for you is inexplicable. His love for you has no beginning and no end. God bless you. I wish you a great conference as we celebrate the eternal father's healing love. No matter what you are going through, his love is here to heal you and to bring you back to him. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.